Hello my dear students welcome to Baiju's exam prep hope you guys are fine so guys today in this session i'll be telling you the top 10 highest paying occupation in civil engineering of course civil engineering is a vast branch but you know that we have further bifurcations or you can say further specialization in civil engineering branch so let's take a look at the 10 highest paying occupations right away let's start but before that quickly let me tell you if you don't know about me you can go through my profile and let's start the session first of all uh, talking about one by one first is engineering manager trust me guys here it's not only in india but uh, basically when you go to any other european countries and all there also the demand of engineering manager or sometimes you can call it as a project manager is in huge demand is there why because obviously you know that you have to lead teams and all so you will say that ma'am only btech degree is sufficient sometimes yes but apart from that if you have a further specialization in project management okay there are various courses you have diploma courses you have a year long courses so if you have a degree in project management that is like an additional you can say benefit you will get when you are applying for project manager or engineering manager jobs okay so if you are basically thinking of greater exposure not only in india but in other countries also so the first job profile which you should opt for is engineering manager or you can say project manager okay so here uh, yeah but it has it comes with a lot of expertise along with lot of experience and it comes with a lot of you can say a lot of burden of works because you are the one who is managing the entire projects but if you talk about the salary so yeah you get a good uh, good you can say a good salary pretty much lots of perks also you get when you are appointed as a project manager okay so uh, talking about next is petroleum engineer so obviously uh, when you talk about this also comes in civil engineering only okay so here basically you are engaged in design developing methods how to extract oil how to extract the gases from the earth surface so here also if you talk about the salary pretty good salary you are being given if you are being appointed as a petroleum engineer okay talking next is pipeline engineer so here basically we talk about the design and maintenance of pipelines how much is the desired head desired energy of water to be provided everything is being uh, everything is being talked about in this pipeline engineering branch then here you should have proper knowledge see conveyance of pipelines no leakage should take place everything is under your control so the third goes for pipeline engineer talking about fourth so fourth is an offshore engineer offshore engineer specializes uh, specialization is basically in the construction of structures like you construct near the shores and all you construct oil rigs and all so that is and the means if you talk about your work profile so your work profile will be near to that okay so here also you should have a knowledge of not only engineering disciples about the structures about their strength about the soil but along that you have a should have a specialization or you should have a knowledge about marine systems also okay so the four stands for offshore engineer talking next is mining engineer so let me tell you uh, guys obviously you know that uh, basically civil engineering if you are doing you can opt for specialization in marine you can opt for project management you can offer petroleum so uh, all though the basics are related to civil engineering so it's not that you are going into a different track like it's not like you are going into data science where you have to learn codings apart from civils where you talked about structures so what you are studying and what you want to study they are not poles apart they are related to each other okay so talking next is mining engineer so here your resp responsibility is basically what extraction of minerals and resources from beneath the earth surfaces so you know that safety of the people who are doing that they should follow the labor laws protocols responsibility nothing of false things are going on here so everything is your responsibility so mining engineer comes fifth in the row talking next is environmental engineer guys you know that nowadays it is very very mandatory that if you have any uh, you can say if it's a state government departments or you have uh, your personal private firms are there it has been mandatory to appoint an environmental engineer because with the increasing globalization population the increasing threat to the environment is also increasing so if you are looking for state government jobs central government jobs or if you are looking in private firms environmental engineer is like now a new era you can say that they have to be appointed 
okay so what are the things to be done if pollutants are being released what can be done to lower the concentration of pollutants solid waste management how should the waste be recycled what should be the mechanism everything for the sustainability will be done by the environmental engineer next coming further in this row is geotechnical engineer so basically you know that before we construct a structure we need to go there analyze the soil its bearing capacity do a lot of tests in the laboratory in the field okay check the foundations and everything we need to do because specifically the government projects are in crores you know that right crores and crores of projects so all this will be done by a geotechnical engineer so if you are interested in the soil mechanics part you can opt for that technically coming next is water resource engineering my many of my friends are there in uh, our water resource engineer okay so you don't you think that every time you have to go in the field my friends are pretty much working in office in very big companies and uh, uh, they are working like they basically go for the designing part okay so obviously if you talk about structures or if you talk about water resource there are certain softwares which you need to learn it okay so based on that you will get all the designing and all you can do it okay so it's not that if you are in india you will be handling only indian projects no the companies uh, many companies outsource their projects so if you are sitting in india you are also handling the gulf countries or anywhere else projects also okay so here basically we talk about the water supply drainage flood controls water treatments everything is being encountered in water resource engineering and the person the engineer who does it that is water resource engineer next is structural engineer so structural engineering also also good see if you say that ma'am i'm just beginning my career as a structural engineer so initial days are tough for you because if you talk about the proportionate salary so the amount of you can say work you do and the salary you receive it's in the initial phase you will think that no i have chosen a wrong uh, uh, i have chosen a wrong way because i have to do a lot of work i have to sit in the sites i have to do the designing because it depends like you can be on the field also or you can be basically what you can be doing it uh, a lot of designing work work in the uh, office also okay but the point which comes into action is initially the moment you gain experience so like if you have 2 years 3 years of experience things becomes pretty good because now you have many ideas you have handled many projects so definitely your area of exposure increases your salary increases exponentially okay so that is structural engineering here also something in the field something if you are not interested in the field part you can go for the designing part of it okay now coming to the last is transportation engineers uh, i have not taken like first one you will be getting uh, obviously project manager you will be getting the highest salary others you can't compare directly plus minus is there depending upon the type of projects you are involved in depending upon the uh, companies you are involved in so it depends upon n number of factors so last we talk about transportation engineering you know that now we are moving towards big buildings along with that so it's structure then we move about the roads we have express ways highways you have n number of roads you have n number of bridges various different types of bridges y sections y intersection paved roads so many things are there which is happening right now okay so transportation engineering is like an emerging field which is happening so if you are talking about future perspective of jobs yes transportation engineering environmental engineering they have a futuristic scope for you guys okay so these are the 10 job opportunities which you can look for so you can check out the when you are starting in btech generally we get an inclination that okay fine i'm interested in this subject so i have a more keen interest in this i want to do research work or i want to go further in this uh, particular particular subjects only i want to move further so in that case you can opt for any of this and if you have any more doubts you can join my telegram group or you can comment in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to our channel kindly do so thank you everybody